A lot of people are experimenting these days with a non-invasive therapy to treat a variety of health issues. Valley businesses are promoting red light therapy, but some people have questions about whether or not it actually works. 12 News journalist Gabriela Becerra talked to experts and has more. There's no shortage of light in Arizona, but there's a certain frequency that people are craving. The red light spectrum is, uh, is interesting and unique frequency uh, that I think we need more of it. At the lowest end of the visible light spectrum, red light is thought to stimulate cells to repair skin, boost new cell growth and enhance rejuvenation when exposed to one's skin, according to studies in the National Library of Medicine. Light is an important element to uh, human health overall and red light therapy helps with the production of cellular energy. It helps with inflammation. It helps with circulation and blood flow. The co-founder and CEO of Optimize, Michael Revelio, says he experienced the benefits for himself after discovering light therapy brought relief to his cervical spine injury. I didn't need to continue to take any sort of painkillers or anti-inflammatory drugs. Um, or muscle relaxers, things that I was consistently taking for a while. LED light therapy is a non-invasive treatment that penetrates the skin. Different wavelengths or colors have been found to achieve different benefits. It treats what's on the skin or just under the skin. So it's not very penetrating, but it can do a good job to reduce inflammation and help the body to heal itself. Dr. Lee Laris, the medical director at Phoenix Skin, uses light to treat patients with different conditions, including acne, psoriasis, and rosacea. It's pretty amazing that we can actually use light to make a difference. In his office, he prescribes patients with acne to sit under a combination of blue light to kill bacteria and red light to reduce inflammation. People see phenomenal changes with that. Uh, we can clear skin significantly using that modality. He's also seen red light grow hair and reduce aging, but Dr. Laris says those results are anecdotal evidence. There is not yet enough conclusive evidence to show the full effectiveness of red light therapy. Although there's never been any specific studies that show that it makes a big difference, I think the evidence is in the fact that everybody's buying and using and continuing to use the treatment. Studies surrounding different wavelengths of light are in the works. Dr. Laurent Martin, an assistant professor at University of Arizona, is focused on developing a non-pharmacological treatment for pain. We're thinking by kind of tricking the retina, all the photoreceptive cells in the retina, we could actually act on this pain modulating area. Instead of targeting the skin, researchers are exposing patients to light through their eyes. We tested different wavelengths of light and we found out that green could actually reduce pain sensitivity. So we did the two clinical trials, one in migraine patients, another one in fibromyalgia patients. And so we both, uh, in both clinical trials, we saw reduction of uh, pain intensity and for the migraine patient, also the frequency of the migraine. From wearable devices to full body panels, red light therapy is trending around the valley with new businesses promoting the treatment. It's only a 10 minute session. It's not a big investment of your time. We have a very powerful panel, so you're getting a full body, so it's not just like a face treatment. Red light therapy is considered relatively safe with rare side effects when people are using it correctly with eye protection. People are still encouraged to consult their doctor before using it. Roviello, Laris, and Martin all see light therapy becoming more widely used as adjunctive medical treatment once more conclusive evidence is found. People are struggling with stress, and um, we're learning that there's just more and more uh, disease in society in many different ways, whether it's the rise of autoimmune conditions or pain, inflammation. Uh, so people are starting to seek alternative therapies now, and I think you're going to see it in continue to increase. In Phoenix, Gabriela Becerra, 12 News.